So to go ahead and get started with the demo, uh, as you can see on my screen, we have opened up the uh, ConnectWise support portal. Uh, and so just for ease of access, we've gone ahead and already installed the Kudu ConnectWise control extension from the ConnectWise uh, extension market marketplace. And we have also enabled the ConnectWise control extension with inside of our Hudu admin panel. So those are two important things that you wanna make sure that you do before, uh, before accessing the ConnectWise control extension via ConnectWise control. So we already gone ahead, have gone ahead and created a control session that we can go ahead and join up to. So if we click join, it will go ahead and open up that control window to a remote device. You can see that the Hudu ConnectWise control extension has been already pinned to the right-hand side of the, ConnectWise control, of the ConnectWise control session. This is pretty much where we recommend to use it. However, feel free to also use it from within inside the upper helper tab bar. But we'll go ahead and leave it pinned to the side for now. To go ahead and get started, we need to enter in our instance URL. For our demo purposes, that URL is going to be demo.hoodoocloud.com. And we can go ahead and press enter on our keyboard. To go ahead and sign into the ConnectWise control helper, uh, we need to go ahead and go through an authentication flow that requires us to, so, to click on this link presented to us. We click on the link and we go ahead and sign into our Hoodoo instance just as normal. I enter in my email as well as my password. It's now going to present us with an auth authorized device screen. And basically what this is looking for is this code highlighted here. For ease of access, you can copy the code by pressing the button and paste it in. Select authorize. And now the device has been successfully authorized. And by that device, that device is the ConnectWise control extension. You can see that the ConnectWise control extension has automatically advanced to the to its first default screen. And this brings me to my next point where I wanna talk about navigation with inside the ConnectWise control extension. Navigation is uh, done to separate the three main features of the ConnectWise control extension. The first being company passwords, which is the screen that you see now, as well as vault passwords, as well as both global and client-specific KVs. I'll get into each of those three features later on into the demo. However, for now, we'll go ahead and just talk about the company passwords. The first feature of the company passwords is the ability to search throughout all passwords. So this is searching through every password with inside of your instance across all companies. This might be very helpful for a password that you know the name, however, you do not know the company that it is under. So for example, if I'm searching for a password with the name 365 in it, I can type 365. Search will work as you type, and you can see that it returns the password results, all, of, all with the name containing 365. These password results are across all the companies as indicated in the subtitle of the list items. If we go ahead and clear out this search, we can move to the next feature, which is searching the companies. This is helpful if you know that uh, your password is going to be under a specific company. However, your company list can get very long, so it's easy to uh, search through them via the search bar. So if I type in Tesco, you can see that I return multiple results, each for the company of Tesco. Now, one of the features that you'll notice in the client list is a count. So that count indicates the number of passwords with inside of that client. So you can see Tesco has 21 and their location one has zero. One of the nice things about uh, when you have all companies displayed or as well as when you are searching companies is if your search results or all companies list is very long, these password counts will go ahead and load in lazily as you scroll down. This will help improve performance of the ConnectWise control helper, as well as decrease the amount of requests made to your instance. These password counts stay loaded in once they are initially loaded. 
and they will reload when you search. So now let's go ahead and dive into a company and view its passwords. We'll go ahead and go back to that Tesco company and select Tesco by selecting the list item. We select the list item and you can see that we are brought to the passwords for Tesco. Just like the company's list, we are able to search for passwords. So I can go ahead and search inside of here, 365. And now the search results return only the passwords for Tesco that contain the name 365. This searches across all folders within inside of the company. We go ahead and clear out the search. It will bring me to my next point, which is the ability to filter by folder. Right now, we are filtering only for passwords that are within inside of our base folder, also known as no folder. Uh, however, if I want to change that to either a global folder or a company folder, I have the ability to do so. So I can select this global folder here. And now our passwords for this specific folder are displayed below. To go ahead and get into the passwords, or to go ahead and dive into the functions of the passwords, there are different, er, I'll go ahead and switch back to base folder to go ahead and discuss the functions of the passwords from within inside of the list. If I hover over passwords, you can see that quick, act quick action icons appear to the right-hand side of the name. I'll go ahead and go to top secret pass Hoodoo password to demonstrate the full functionality of these quick action icons. The first on the far left-hand side is going to be the send the username to the remote device. So this will send the, user, the password's username to the currently focused text field of the remote device. The next will be the same functionality, however, for the password. Next will be the same functionality, however, for the OTP code. It will also give you the amount remaining, the time remaining of that specific OTP code. And the final icon here will go ahead and find a user access control window on the remote device and automatically fill in the username and password for or into that user access control window. Now, if you want to actually see all the details of a password, we can go ahead and click onto the password just by clicking the list tile. And if we want to view the password online, we have the ability to do so via the open online button. We also have the ability to view the password as well as the OTP. However, if we find that we are on the password detail screen and we want to fill and we want to autofill a password detail, we can do so by selecting the respective icon, either for the username, for the password, or the OTP. Also on the password detail screen, we can see the color as well as the notes, or also a URL, as well as the last updated time, and if expanded, the created time. We'll go ahead and go back to all the passwords for the test code. And I'll now uh, jump over to the next function to the next main feature of the Connect Device Control extension. And that's going to be vault passwords. Vault passwords work in exactly the same way as the company passwords. You have the ability to search via the search bar as well as the quick access icons uh, for each individual list tile. As well, you may click on the vault password to view its details. So now that I've talked about the password functionalities with inside of the Connect Device Control extension, let's see it in a demo uh, for a user flow that might be pretty common uh, when using the Connect Device Control extension. So what better way to go ahead and demonstrate this than to sign into Hoodoo? So if I go ahead and open up on my remote device, we have a, we have a, uh, a Hoodoo sign-in window. And let's say the password that we want to find is under that Tesco company. So that Tesco, since we just recently searched it, it's already there, but we can go ahead and select Tesco as our company. And we know that that password contains the name Hoodoo. So we'll go ahead and search for Hoodoo. 
and we find our password here. We see that the email text field has already been highlighted and we can go ahead and autofill in that email. And now for the password, we can go ahead and select that text field and select password. Now we can go ahead and press sign in and it will sign us into our dashboard. So much easier than having to switch between tabs to get that password. You are able to easily find username and passwords just by staying inside of your Connect device control window. The next feature that I wanna show is that user access control window. So in order to demonstrate that, I will have to open up a elevated Windows PowerShell prompt. Oh, my bad. And we'll go ahead and run as administrator to open up that user access control window. So you can see here, this is our user access control window. And we know that the password for this has the name administrator in it. So we type in uh, admin and the password that we're looking for is this domain administrator. So instead of having to press both the username and the password button, if this was asking for a username and a password, we can simply just press this user access control window icon and it will go ahead and auto fill in that password. If it was asking for a username as well, it would also fill in that username automatically. And now we can go ahead and hit yes. And that will go ahead and open up our automated or our elevated PowerShell prompt. So those are the functionality of uh, the passwords for a pretty common user flow. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is the final feature of the ConnectOS control extension, which is going to be the KB articles. So to get over to KB, you'll go ahead and press the KB icon. And you'll notice that uh, just like before, we can go ahead and search for our articles. So let's say we want to search for an article, just the name article, and it returns our results below. This is searching again across all folders with inside of the global KB. If we clear out this search, we can change this global KB over to a specific company. So let's say I want to say, I want to view articles for Tesco. We select Tesco and now our articles update to only display the articles with inside of Tesco. Again, we are able to search. However, another feature or another filtering option is filtering via the folder. Right now we're in base folder. Again, just like, a, just like the passwords, the base folder is no folder. However, if we want to change that, it's easy enough to select the item. And we'll select, um, I believe, general. And if we select general, now our articles are filtered for that specific folder. If we go back to base folder, to view a article with inside the Connect Voice Control extension, you may select on the article list item. And that article is reformatted to fit a smaller screen. However, if you want to view this article on a bigger screen, we do have the ability to open this article online and that will then go ahead and view it with inside of your Hudu instance. If the article is not just plain HTML text, maybe it's a PDF, it will go ahead and convert the article list item over to a link and you will be able to click on the link and then view that article with inside of your default browser. So we have a PDF article here and it will go ahead and open up a new tab and display that article with inside of my browser. So those are all the features for the ConnectWise control extension in its current state.